Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to focus on the sewage. For the dog in law. There was supposed to be a cistern here. Allegedly, no one knows where it is. No one knows how to maintain it or if it even exists. So, All right, we did not find the sewage point. Well, there's no water coming out of the uh, in the other end. So, um, we're gonna buy an inspection camera to go into the sewers and see what's there, if it's broken or reservoir, cistern, something like that. So that'll be for another day. In the meantime, we try to dig out this, the main water supply in the back, running down here, probably connecting to that little tap right there in the back. Um, and that pipe runs down, you see running down here, probably down here and connecting somewhere to this main line there, which in turn runs to Villa. Quick intermezzo, this was the guiding rail for the lead for the food elevator. Um, now we're gonna try and take dimensions so we can replicate it later. So we have the original design, but with wood that is actually not being half digested by these wood buggies. I'm using an app called Scanniverse, and with that app, it uses my LiDAR scanner to take accurate measurements of the object that I'm scanning. I also use this for the whole villa, so I scanned all the rooms. So do let me know if you have an interest in that specific area. This is a new meter that I installed, the three kilowatt one. This is the one it connects to, and this one in turn connects almost certainly only to this one and powers the basement. But well, we've also found that there's no earthing connected. So there's a bit of a problem. These cables, which are in turn connected to this little guy. Which is fun, but 380 volts. Don't know where it goes to. Also, it doesn't really look anything really modern. If you look at the cables, so. <laughs> Better not power it. So it's hard to see, but this piece of a gacha tree here is, it fell down. Little river that we have. And this branch got ripped off of one of these trees during a storm probably. Fell on the, on the property and uh, this fence broke the fall. Let's see if we can uh, not restore our fence, but sort of save it.
and this is the fence that is left over. This is some electricity that is running from the garden shed all the way down and to this little pole. So probably at some point there would have been some lantern or something. Or something. path created that leads to the servants entrance so now we can access it via this side also we have found more car parts what a day of gardening can do 